friends, my name is Miss Suzanne and I work at the Cumberland County Public Library. And today we're gonna do a short story time, even though you're at home, you can join in and we're gonna have a lot of fun. First, we're gonna learn some sign language. Okay, sign language is a language we do with our hands and it's for people that maybe don't hear at all or they can't hear well, but they can see. So it's a way of talking between people who, who can't hear or can't hear well and people who can. We can all learn sign language so we can communicate. All right, so our welcome song goes like this. We're gonna learn a, a sign that goes like this. Put your hand up to your head and salute out, okay? That means hello in sign language. You just learned sign language. Now we're gonna learn how to say friends. So put one finger up here and one up here. We have two little friends and they're going to hug and that's gonna be the word for friend in sign language, okay? And we're gonna do it twice so you can learn it. All right, hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's time to say hello. Did you get it? If not, let, it's okay. Let's do it again. It's new. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Good job. You did awesome. So we are going to see some other insects that you might see outside in your garden. And if you don't have a garden, it's okay. You can just go outside these bugs live everywhere and I'm going to teach you some actions to do at home while we do this little song okay so fireflies can go blink 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 and every time they blink they move so can you take your fingers and go blink 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 like fireflies at night good job all right and then we're gonna see spiders can you make your hands like spiders that crawl and creep? Good job. And these spiders, they're gonna spin some webs. So let's spin our webs. Good job. All right, and then we're going to see bees. So make one hand a flower and your bee is your other hand and it's gonna sit on top of the flower and go buzz, 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 okay? Buzz, buzz, buzz. Good job. And then we're gonna have a caterpillar. One hand can be caterpillar. The other hand is a leaf and he sits on the leaf and he goes munch, munch, munch. Munch, munch, munch. Okay, good job. And then we're gonna have a ladybug and ladybug's gonna fly quietly by so we're just gonna have our ladybug fly quietly by. Do you think you guys can do that at home? If you're older, you can help your little brothers and sisters do it too. All right, so our song goes like this. Oh, and I'm gonna have some friends help me do the song. I have some friends here, but you use your hands at home, okay? So, all right, get your fireflies ready. The fireflies at night go blink, 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 blink. The fireflies at night go blink, 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 out in our garden. All right, so we saw a firefly, and now get our spiders ready. Get your hands ready to be a spider. Okay, here's my spider. Hello. You gonna help us do our song? Yes, she is. All right, so get your fingers ready. The spiders in the bush, they spin their webs, spin their webs, spin their webs. The spiders in the bush, they spin their webs out in our garden. All right, do you remember what's next? We have a bee. All right, so make a flower with your hands. Good job, and now, your other hand will be your bee, and it can sit right on top of your flower, okay? The bees, the bees on the flower go buzz, 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 
buzz, buzz, buzz. The bees on the flower go buzz, buzz, buzz. Out in our garden. Bye-bye, bee. Will you bring another friend in? Ooh, who's next? We have, well, we have leaves. And we have our caterpillar. All right, so make your hands like the leaves. Okay, a flat hand. And then your other hand will be your caterpillar, okay? All right. The caterpillar's on the leaf. Go munch, 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 munch. The caterpillars on the leaves go munch, munch, munch out in our garden. Ooh, he ate all of our leaves. He's got to go find some more. All right, and who's our last character? It's the ladybug. So get your hand ready to be a ladybug flying quietly by. Ladybug, are you ready? Be very quiet. The ladybug flies quietly by, quietly by, quietly by. The ladybug flies quietly by out in our garden. Hi, today we are going to be making these cute little ladybugs. And you can actually make them in any color you want. Today we're going to make a blue one. Okay, and they're actually also magnets, so you can put them on your refrigerator and slide them around. So what you're going to need is you'll need an old CD or DVD, okay, something you don't want anymore. You'll need some sandpaper if you have that. You'll need a magnet. You can just use one you have at home that you know you got for free and mom and dad got for free and you don't want it anymore. Okay, you'll need a piece of paper some scissors, a pencil, you're gonna need some felt. So here's some different colors of felt. And you'll need some googly eyes if you have them. If not, you can just use felt to make your eyes. Okay, and you're gonna need some glue. Fabric glue works okay. Um, and then clear the tacky craft glue I found works the best or hot glue, but then you need a parent to really do the hot glue gun, okay? But you will need a parent to help you with this. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our CD and we're going to scratch it, it with the sandpaper. It's gonna make it rough so that the fabric or the felt will stick to it, okay? So you just have a lot of fun scraping and getting it really scratched up, okay? And then you're going to need to take your paper and you're going to outline the circle of the, on the paper, okay? So you're gonna trace the circle on the outside with a pencil, marking on the paper, and then you're going to cut this out We'll just cut this out really quickly. All right, then we're gonna pick the color we want our ladybug to be. So we will choose blue, okay? Now, if your mom or dad has some pins, some straight pins, you can pin it to your felt. But if not, you can just kind of hold it and you can just kind of cut around the cut around the felt to make the same shape. So we're just we're just cutting around the outside of our circle. Okay, and you'll keep doing that until you get this circle here. Okay? And that's going to be the body of our ladybug or our bug, our beetle, whatever you want to call it. So then you're going to take your paper and a pencil and you're going to draw the head. Now you can see the shape of the head, this black part here. You're going to draw that on here. So, and I'll show you, okay? You'll just draw a head like that, okay? After you cut out your felt, then you cut this piece out 
along the line. And that's gonna be your ladybug's head. The ones I've made are black, so we'll find some black. And again, you're gonna cut a little piece around it. And then you're going to cut out this shape by just holding it really firmly in the middle and cut around it. Okay, and when you finish cutting it, you'll have a piece that's going to be his head. So now we have, we have a head. Isn't that cool? Okay, now to make the eyes, I'm sorry, the spots on the ladybug, we take the eyes, take a googly eye, and we're going to trace around it, okay, onto a piece of paper. So we'll just take the eye, put it on the paper, and trace around it. And you're getting a little circle on your paper, and you cut it out, and you end up with this. This is going to be your pattern, and then you're going to put it on your black felt. And you're going to cut out a little piece around it. Okay, and then you're going to cut around this eye till it's sort of a circle. It doesn't have to be perfect. <gasps> now we have a spot for our ladybug. And I have some other ones I already cut out that we're gonna put here. Let's get some things out of the way. Okay. All right, so we have some spots. We have a head, we have the body. None of it is glued together yet. We have our eyes that will go at the top. Oops, I need another eye. All right, so we have two eyes. And you can see how when it's all glued together, it's going to look like this. Okay, so let's glue it. The first thing you glue is the body. We're gonna use our craft glue or tacky glue. We're going to glue this fabric down. Just glue around the edge and then in closer to the middle. Okay. And then we are sticking our fabric onto it and squishing it down. Okay. Making sure the edges aren't showing too much. This time I'm going to put it on the material, the black material. in the middle there. I'm going to stick it down. All right? Oops, I think it goes better the other way, doesn't it? We can still turn it around. All right. Oh, that fits better. And squish it down. And then we're going to put our eyes on. I'll put the glue on the eye. Stick that on. And we're going to stick the other eye on. Okay. And then we're going to put the glue on the spots. And you can put them anywhere you want. So now he has one spot. Do you think we should do five? Let's see. I think five is what's going to fit. So this is kind of a pretty fast craft. The hardest part is the cutting. All right, so there we have him. Now, if you wanna stick him on your refrigerator, you need your magnet. So we're gonna take the part of the magnet that might have a picture on it, and we're gonna put the glue on that part. Okay. Put a lot of glue, because you really don't want your magnet to fall off. Stick it on the back, whoops. And press it down. And there you have your bug. And if you want, you can put antenna. You could put a pipe cleaner or you could use the felt to make little, an little antennas if you wanted to. All right, 
it sticks pretty fast, but I would wait five or 10 minutes before you stick it on the refrigerator. Okay, and you can name him. And so you can have a whole family of these guys on your refrigerator. So now we're gonna learn one more sign and that is going to be our goodbye song. So in sign language, uh, goodbye is simply waving goodbye, and that means goodbye, okay? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, friends. I hope to see you later on TV or on your computer or at the library. Keep reading lots of books and have a great summer. Thank you.